everyone is joining today I'm in a different background as you can see and I have a very special guest here my boyfriend Kevin aka the gamers genie today I honestly thought about doing something different on my channel like since I mentioned that my boyfriend is a gamer there are some bo bookish board games that we both would like to recommend so let's get started the first bookish recommendation we're doing is if you like a horror genre or any books that are in horror Elder Sign. This uh, game is particularly based off of a uh, series of books called the Cthulhu Mythos by H.P. Lovecraft. He originally wrote these books in the 1920s and it's all about a bunch of detectives and normal average people trying to fight off monsters coming from another dimension such as, and you probably heard of him, this guy, Cthulhu uh, if you haven't, then um, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I probably will put a picture of um, the book right here somewhere on the screen so you guys can see it before we show Elder Signs. So we'll let you know. The next book um, games that we're recommending, if you like Hunted or any fairy tale retellings, you would like Storyline Fairy Tale. Uh, this game is played where you get to make up your own fairy tale with uh, all your different uh, friends and family members. The first player is determined by the last person who actually finished a book, and you get goofy little fairy tale things with items, characters, and locations, and you get to make your own, like, uh, Mad Lib story of a fairy tale. And I actually bought this at Gen Con with Kevin last year, and, I, and we played it before, and it's really fun, so you should definitely get that game. The next game recommend, bookish game recommendations we're going for is if you like Romeo and Juliet, and I'm putting a picture right here somewhere on the screen, you would like... Council of Verona. This game is a competitive uh, betting game that uh, players compete against each other, and each and different characters have different abilities, and you get to bet on which character's ending will happen in this. For example, Lord Capulet, he has an ability that if there are more Capulets than Montagues in the council, then you then you get that point for it. Romeo has the uh, the thing where if he and Juliet are together in the game, then you get a point for him uh, winning. You can also subtract points, and you can uh, try to shift around cards to. Uh, sabotage your opponent. We have not played this game before, but we definitely will on his channel very soon, hopefully. So, yeah, definitely gonna check out Counts of Verona. The next recommendation we have is if you like Robin Hood, you would like Sheriff of Nottingham. This game is played by uh, each player gets to take turns passing around the sheriff and you get to determine who gets to be the sheriff by the one who has the most actual money in their wallet. <laughs> Debit cards and credit cards do not count. So I don't care how much money you have in your bank, it's on hand. And what this game does is you get to place different items like chickens, bread, cheese, and other assorted stuff into your bag. You get to make up a nice little story on what is actually in your bag so you can get past the, cop, uh, the cops and the sheriff and all that. And sometimes there's even contraband items such as silk, pepper, and even alcohol. And burned, to um, burned bread. <laughs> I don't know why people would want to sneak that through. I would just toss it in the garbage. <laughs> so if you're a big fan of Robin Hood, you would definitely check out Sheriff of Nottingham. And that's one of the games that Kevin will teach very soon. So... Yeah, definitely check it out. And plus, there are expand. There's an expansion game of Sharon Nineham, so that's a a plus for that. The next bookish game we're recommending is if you like Burning the Orange, Murder on the Orange Express, or any mystery novels, you would like Mysterium. This game is played with the same gaming mechanics as our favorite Milton Bradley game, Clue. What it is, is in, but instead of competing with each other, the players need to work together to figure out who the murderer, the weapon, and the location is. Each player throughout the game has their own murderer, weapon, and location, but they have to guess who the true murderer is at the end of the game. If they don't, they all lose, and the ghost is very mad. I really enjoy this game because like everybody's played as psychic, um, psychics, and um, you have to guess 
like each step you have to guess who the murderer is just by um, the clue cards that the ghost gives you and anybody can be a ghost but we play a bunch of times and your dad was the ghost and it was a lot of fun plus it's actually tougher than clue so if you want a extra challenge like clue you should definitely check out mysterium next bookish game we're recommending is if you like lord of the rings well here's just fine saying lord of the rings you would like the lord of the rings the card game this game is a game where you and another player or you and three other players work together as a team and go through different quests as the famous characters from the lord of the rings the hobbit and many other workings of J.R.R. Tolkien. this is a living card game which unlike a trading card game or a collectible card game if you buy this, that's all you'll ever need to play the game. Uh, the winners of the game, it's you versus the game, so there is really no true losers of this game. It's like Elder Sign, you're playing against monsters that you choose, or you go by like the easiest monster defeat to the hardest monster defeat. But this one, you're playing against the game itself, and if you win, then you win. If you lose, then you lose. <laughs> mm hmm. The next bookish game we're recommending is, if you like The Princess Bride, yes, I'm currently reading right now, you would like... The Battle, A Battle of Wits and other various Princess Bride-based games. Uh, this one in particular is all about the scene from the movie and the book uh, where Vecini and the Man in Black sit down for a battle of wits where one of the glasses of wine is poisoned by the deadly Iocane powder. Uh, this game is you get to bid or place wine or poison in there. How you win is if you pick a glass that has more wine than poison, then you're still alive. If you don't, then you have to place the character, flip the character over to the dead side, and they're dead. And it's a good party game because you can go up to... 10 players. Also, if you really do like The Prince's Bride, this is just one of many. There's also Prepare to Die, I Hate to Kill You, As You Wish, and The Miracle Pill. So you should, if you're a big fan of the Princess Bride like we are, you should definitely check out the Battle of Wits. There's also quotes from the movie and the book in, in this too. Which is a, a good addition to playing this game. The next bookish game we're recommending is if you like Harry Potter, you would like... Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. In this game, you and three other players are playing as Harry, Ron, Hermione, and Neville to save the to save Hogwarts from Voldemort and his followers. Each, there are uh, seven decks, mm -hmm. each based off of the seven books of Harry Potter. You can also see that the characters will grow and gain new abilities as you progress through the game. And you can use famous spells and, and such to fend off the Death Eaters and other famous villains. And along with that, like the first book you're gonna face, who knows, and there are that's the easiest, but as you progress, if you want to continue by going, like, like after reading The Sorcerer's Stone, like the one book I'm holding right here, you would want to go to Chamber of Secrets, it'll get harder as you go, and they have expansions where you fight more um, creatures from the Harry Potter world as well. <laughs> Am I right, Kevin? You are right. You get to face... The dragons from book four, you get to face uh, Aragog from book two. Fluffy. Fluffy from book one, and uh, there's another basilisk, uh, more Dementors, mm -hmm. and an even worse Voldemort. So if you can imagine that this Voldemort is bad, you should get a load of the one in the expansion. Definitely. So if you are love, 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 love Harry Potter, you should definitely check out Hogwarts Battle. The next bookish game we're recommending is if you love the Marvel comics, you would like... Marvel Legendary. This is a deck building game based around the Marvel comics. And there's also some characters from that you can recognize from the movies. So if you don't really read comic books, you can But at you least, watch the movies. Then Sorry. you could at least uh, see some characters. There's Guardians of the Galaxy, Spider-Man, Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, Hawkeye, Black Widow, Captain America, uh, etc. Yeah, even though you might not be, like some of you, you might not have read the Marvel comics, but you're a fan of the movies, you would definitely should check it out, Legendary. And you actually can 
you're not competing, you're actually teaming up to fight one of the Marvel villains. That's right. You're trying your goal is as a team, you're trying to take down the mastermind. The masterminds for this particular core set is Doctor Doom, Magneto, Loki, and I'm trying to remember the last one, but he's <laughs> Oh, the Red Skull. Oh, it was escaping me for a second there. My favorite part of this game is when we were playing it we were going against the puny god Loki. <laughs> If you all have seen the Avengers, you will definitely know what the Hulk does to Loki when he says that. And if you've seen Thor Ragnarok, you know what he does there, too. <laughs> so you definitely don't want to miss Marvel Legendary. The next bookish game recommendations we're giving you is if you like Game of Thrones, you would like... Game of Thrones, the card game, and Game of Thrones, the board game. Which is right up here. Yep. Uh, this game is a living card game, which means, again, just like all the other, some of the other games that I mentioned, like Lord of the Rings and the Marvel Legendary, everything you need is in the set. You do not need to buy any, like, uh, thousands of packs or spend millions of dollars on single cards. Uh, this has all the characters from any, any book or, if you've seen the TV shows, the TV series, so it's got Ned Stark, Jon Snow, uh, Cersei, if you like the Lannisters, I don't know who does, but if you do, I feel sorry for you. I actually have never read Game of Thrones or watched a TV show, but Kevin has, so this is one of his recommendations to you guys. So if you like Game of Thrones, like I said, you would like this game. And the board game. Uh, the board game is played with a more Risk-esque uh, way. So just like in Risk, where you have to take over the world, you have to take over uh, the kingdom using characters from the different houses like Stark, Martell, Greyjoy, uh, Lannister, uh, Baratheon, uh, forgot, Tyrell. There we go. Flowers. I always forget those. So, yeah, definitely check it out. We have a bonus bookish game we're recommending to you guys. If you want to. Play a game that features books that you want to use physically. I highly recommend Bring Your Own Book. This game is really awesome. It's like apples to apples, but you use books. And I'm not sure if you can use ebooks for this game. But what do you think, Kevin? Uh, the rule states that you just, that actually the rules do state that you need a physical book. Uh, ebooks are strictly forbidden just because. Mm -hmm. Uh, you could probably jump from book to book. Uh, if you use a collection of books, like that Lord of the Rings collection we have, you have to pick one book, so you would have to pick The Fellowship, Two Towers, or The Return of the King instead of all three, and then you could go, oh, I know just the line, it's in Return of the King. And this is a perfect game to play with your other bookish friends, and I don't have a lot, but hopefully when I meet my book tuber friends, I would definitely play this game with everybody. So that's all for the um, bookish game recommendations video. This again, I want to do something a little different, especially since I told you guys I'm a co-host on his channel. So I'm a head writer. I thought I would have him guest star in my video and explain some of the games that he recommends. Plus, um, if you want to check out his channel. Link it, I'm going to link it down below so you can check it out. And he actually taught some of the games that we just mentioned. And if you want me to do this again in my, in my channel in the future, give it a thumbs up. And comment down below some of the games that you actually were interested in, some of them that we mentioned, and all that. If you want to follow me on social media, I have Facebook under The Lost Reader, and I have Twitter and Instagram on Lost Reader 19. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, before I forget, if you want Kevin to be on my channel more, let me know in the comments down below so we can figure out what kind of other video we should do together. So yeah, thank you so much. And if you want to follow me on social media, I'm at Facebook and Twitter at GamersGenie and GamingGin on Instagram. Yeah, you should definitely check it out. And I'll leave his links down below as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!